Good afternoon. It is Wednesday, August the 4th. Uh, we're one week away from welcoming students back to campus. We're very excited about that. Uh, this year we'll be welcoming 65 new students and uh, we're excited to have the opportunity to partner with those families. And overall, we will see a first day enrollment increase of about 5% over last year. So we're excited uh, about the good news and the good work uh, that our uh, community is doing. Uh, just a couple of things I want to make sure you're aware of. A couple of these are new. Uh, middle and high school class schedules will be available tomorrow through the PLUS portal. Uh, new students will receive an email tomorrow morning explaining how to set, set up those accounts. And certainly feel free to call the office if you have any questions about that. Please remember, uh, Wednesday, August the 11th is the first day of school. Uh, that's a half a day. Uh, there's no lunch that day, and our middle and high school students will be participating uh, that morning with orientation. Students, please remember grades 6 through 11. That is class picture day, uh, and certainly you want to make sure that you're in dress code uh, and ready to take your school photo uh, Wednesday, August the 11th. Uh, a couple of reminders about dress code, please want to make sure uh, that our students uh, are well groomed in terms of their hair, uh, above their collar, ears, and eyes. Uh, we've talked before a little bit about uh, your assistance with help with boys shorts, making sure they're long enough. Uh, certainly as we begin school, we want to start the school year out on the right foot. Please remember back to school is Monday, uh, August the 9th at 5.30. Uh, all students and parents are welcome to come and meet their teachers. Uh, we have a couple of meetings also scheduled at 530. All parents and students of sixth graders will meet at 530 in the media center. Uh, all new students in grades 7 through 10th grade, new students and their families will meet in the cafeteria uh, for a brief orientation. And so we look forward to, to meeting with those groups as well. Uh, this year, lunch tickets, we've talked a little bit about lunch. We'll go back and have lunch uh, being able to be ordered a la carte. Uh, it'll be served at the hot meal as you're coming through line. Uh, a couple of other details to provide with that is lunch tickets will still be purchased before school uh, in the cafeteria or in the office or in our lower school homerooms. Uh, they, we will take the students orders in homeroom just to make sure we have uh, the right amount of food prepared and then when students arrive for their designated lunch time they'll go through the line uh, that will be served to them and then that's where they will uh, provide their lunch ticket it'll be marked appropriately and they'll move on uh, we hope relatively quickly a couple of updates uh, as the world uh, certainly around us is having to deal a little bit more with COVID in these last couple of days uh, just a couple of reminders uh, one, you know, one thing that we're, we're going to adjust a little bit to help with this, the, uh, certainly we'll do all that we can to keep students three feet apart. That really seems to be uh, one of the things that uh, has helped in the transmission of this. Uh, and so one way to help with that uh, is in lunchtime. And so we'll move uh, students uh, to be about three feet apart during lunchtime. Uh, and really that just means we'll eat lunch uh, in middle or high school like we did last year, uh, utilizing the gym, gym lobby, and cafeteria. So really uh, not that big of an adjustment, but just a, a little bit of room uh, as well. Want to, as we begin the school year, uh, remind you of our quarantine policies and procedures. Uh, if, if a student uh, is exposed to COVID, uh, they'll need to quarantine uh, for seven days with the negative test and return on after that, or just return uh, after 10 days of that exposure. Now, if they've been vaccinated, uh, then th that's not necessary. Um, and so just want to remind people of that. Uh, one of the ways, again, we can help with that is keeping students apart. Um, masks will continue to be optional. The only time that we can envision right now masks being asked uh, to be worn would be in a situation, maybe it's a high school lab where students are gonna be side by side uh, more than 15 minutes. Uh, students may in that situation may be asked to wear a mask just for that limited time. And then once they can move uh, further apart, then they'll be free to do so. So uh, again, masks are certainly very optional, uh, maybe encouraged certainly as um, 
your family sees fit. Uh, but again, I uh, want to do all that we can to make sure that we're very safe uh, and our campus stays open as we did last year. Parents, uh, please remember uh, that a student with a fever or two or more symptoms so uh, may not uh, attend class. So please just help us with that. Uh, you did a great job with that last year and, and certainly that will be very important this year. Parents, please remember uh, that you need to notify the office or the, your child's homeroom teacher uh, anytime they're going to be absent. And that's even for a partial uh, part of the day. And so um, just help us with that. Call the office, email the office, uh, and we'll take care of the, the appropriate communication internally. Uh, and one last thing, just as a reminder, uh, middle school parents who are picking up students um, in front of the academic center, uh, we're going to change kind of the, the flow of that. And so please remember that students will need to be picked up on a curb. Uh, parents will not be able to turn left into the middle of the academic parking lot to have students walk across. Uh, we'll have some teachers out to help with that process uh, just in terms of um, uh, making sure everyone's safe and is on the same page. So again, we're very excited uh, about the opportunity to have everyone gather back uh, on campus next week. We'll look forward to seeing you Monday uh, at Back to School and then the first day of classes, Wednesday, August 11th. Have a great day.